Welcome to part one of using a living style guide. In this lesson, we'll discuss the advantages of using a living style guide. A living style guide can be very useful during the design process because it provides several things. A baseline to work with, documentation of design solutions, and ease of communication. A baseline to work with. When working on a design, instead of starting from scratch every time, the style guide provides visual direction as well as the modules you should use to create your new design. The key here is to use a living style guide, which is explained in our course using style guide driven development. It's a style guide generated from application source code, so it reflects the latest and greatest version of the implemented design. Documentation of design solutions. The knowledge that has been acquired to resolve a particular UI or UX problem can be saved for later use in the style guide. This helps maintain consistency in the implementation, encouraging you to design new solutions as part of the current design system. Additionally, you can indicate how the design should be implemented and illustrate scenarios of the design in use, including things to avoid. In this way, your designs are implemented as intended. Ease of communication. The Living Style Guide also helps to communicate the design by providing the most up-to-date representation of the UI, unlike static mockups, which can quickly get outdated. Also, a common UI language is developed because you have to name the various elements in the style guide. This requires collaboration not only among designers, but between the designers and developers, which is a great opportunity to communicate how a design should be implemented. Whether you have an existing style guide or are planning to create one, automating the process will put you in the right direction, driving the design process in a modular way. If you're ready to get started building your living style guide, we recommend you watch the course where we'll show you how to do it by using our open source tool, Document CSS. For now, let's continue on to the final lesson where you'll learn about some common pitfalls to avoid when using a living style guide.